In this video, I'll be talking about computer science and math. These are certainly topics I totally didn't fail at some point. There are actually quite a few topics to cover in this video, such as graph, permutations, calculus, and discrete math. Uh, I haven't done linear algebra yet. So let's start with integral calculus. Suppose you're using a determinator, and every second you shoot three arrows, and suppose each arrow deals one million damage. So you're dealing three million damage per second at first. Suppose that every second you shoot the amount of arrows to the power of two. As time goes on, you shoot more arrows, not just linearly, but quadratically. In second two, you shoot nine arrows. In second three, 27. By second 10, you're unleashing 300 arrows every second. So let's define it clearly. Arrows per second grow like x to the power of two. Damage per arrow is a constant, one million. And there are three arrows, so a total damage per second is three times one million times x to the power of two which equals to 3 million as your constant times x to the power of 2, right? This is just basic algebra, right? So if we want to find the total damage dealt on the red dragon, remember that from last video, after x seconds, you can use integration to find it. You integrate 3 million times x to the power of 2, so now you have 3 million times x to the power of 3 divided by 3, now it's going to turn into 1 million times x to the power of 3, and now you just replace x by 10, and that gives you 1 million times x to the power of 3, replace x by 10, so now you have 1 million times 10 to the power of 3, which equals to 1 million times 1,000, which equals to 1 billion total damage after 10 seconds of firing. So here is a graph that represents on what exactly we just did. Um, If you do the math and you add all the values you see on the graph, you'll find out that the total sum is actually 1.155 billion and not 1 billion. Right, okay, I'm not saying my math is wrong, I'm just saying, so what exactly happened here? Why is it showing 1.115 billion? What you have to know about integrals is that when you do integrals, you're very precisely calculating the area under the curve, which is what we just did. But in this instance, in my example, we're actually measuring the graph using blocks instead of actual values. It's more of a block. So in other words, you would have to use Riemann sum to find the exact value. And the thing about Riemann sum is that we're going to have to dive at the top Topics such as limits and sigma notation, which I do not feel like talking about in this video because I'm not a teacher, nor do I really have the time and the script and the mental capacity to actually explain it step by step just for a fucking video. That's just not gonna happen. Predicate logic and quantifiers. Predicate logic and quantifiers focuses on statements, which we try to determine if it's true or false. Let's say function p of x is where x is a talisman. It gives it plus 1% one one speed. speed and existential quantifier there exists an x means there exists at least one of something. So putting it together we have there exists an x such that p is a function of x meaning there exists a talisman that gives you plus 1% speed. This is a statement that is true notated like this. We also have the universal quantifier for every x which is for every something meaning it applies to every element. Putting that with the function gives us for every x, p is a function of x, meaning every talisman gives plus 1% speed. This is a statement that is false and is notated like this. Boolean logic. Imagine you're preparing to tank an M7, and as you're taking your soul whip out of the museum, you realize you need to edit your two auto pet rules, one to equip your ender dragon pet when fighting, and another to equip your squid pet when fishing. Since you want to be using your phoenix pet to tank, you decide to add dungeon exceptions because inside the catacombs, you want your auto pet rules to only apply to phoenix pets. That's Boolean logic. Think of in combat and fishing XP gained as questions you ask. If you're in a dungeon, that overrides them all. If you're in combat and not in a dungeon, you equip the ender dragon. Else, if you fish while not in a dungeon, you equip squid. And if you are in a dungeon, instead of a squid pet, which would annihilate you, I can the spawn buy it tank, for one, you equip your phoenix pet to so live an extra paper. life. That's exactly how if then logic with exceptions works in the computer science. In Skyblock, auto pet rules use this very similar logic. Discrete math subset theory. Subsets can be explained by grouping items based on certain categories. Let's just use talismans as a set. Suppose you have like four talismans. So uh, I don't know, speed ring, intimidation talisman, haste ring, and bat talisman. So a subset is any possible combination of these, which includes no talisman, so an empty set, one talisman, two talisman, so speed ring, haste ring, 
and all four, which is a full set. There are 2 to the power of n, which equals 2 to the power of 4, which equals 16 possible subsets. Another way you can interpret subset is by categorizing the armor pieces or weapon types. You can have the dungeon armor subset, so the shadow assassin, wither armor, adaptive armor, zombie knight armor, necron armor, storm armor, all of that belongs to the dungeon armor subset. You can have the end armor subset, so ender armor, crystal armor technically, dragon armors, which in itself could be a subset of strong, wise, superior, Unions and intersections between sets. An union set is when you combine two sets together, which would then create a new set that has all the elements of the first and the second set, while an intersection is basically the opposite, where it would only filter out the ones that the first and second set both have. For example, if you put the ender set, union, dungeon set, you would get the ender armor, dragon armor, SA armor, necrons armor, hyperion, aspect of the end. Basically, if you combine all the elements in the ender set and in dungeon set together, what would you get? Suppose you want to find like the intersection. A good example to apply this is you can try to find the intersection between useful dungeon tools and end tools. So you can have stuff like Gyrokinetic Wand, Aspect of the Void, Terminator, Soulflow, and a Dragon Pet. Combination and permutation. Let's say there are uh, 133 unique talismans. I think that's the actual number. How many different ways can you order these talismans in your accessory bag? Since order matters, this is a permutation of 133 items. So what you do is you take 133 items factorial. If you don't know what factorial is, let's say you want to take the factorial of 4. Basically, you do 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. 24. 4 factorial is 24. So what about 5? 5 factorial is 120. 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5, 120. So now you understand what factorial is. We have to do 133 factorial, which is 1.49 times 10 to the power of 228. That is astronomically huge, like fucking insane. If you reordered your talisman every second, it will last longer than the current age of the universe. You have 25 different accessories in your storage, but you only have space to equip 5 of them in your accessory bag. So the question is, how many different sets of 5 accessories can you choose, regardless of the order? Since order doesn't matter, this is a combination. So this is how it would usually look like, and after applying this formula, you get an answer of 53,130 possible combinations. There's a thing called recursion and sequencing patterns that you usually learn in discrete math and in calculus too. However, I have not been able to find a very consistent rate as you can see, it's a very approximate sum. So I've gone through like the combat system and the combat XP, but I like realized that it's just extremely consistent. Because at some point, you're going to go from 150, and it's going to be 150, then it's going to be back 200, then it's going to be 300. It's extremely consistent, and there's no actual patterns. I've went through multiple things, such as Catacomb, and Catacomb is even more inconsistent. I went through museum skyblock levels and they all have not a good enough pattern to explain it or just straight up inconsistent. There is like no logical way for me to explain this without making up some shit.